student events. So we don't expect advisors to be at every single program undergraduate student organizations do, but there are a few guidelines and suggestions that we have for you to keep in mind as your students are going through the planning process so that you're aware of what you need to do when they have their event. In the undergraduate advisor manual, we have a section specifically for student events. So some of the information that's covered in that section that you'll probably be referencing pretty often is information about uh, student events and the planning process, how to reserve rooms, um, how to reserve multimedia equipment and that sort of thing. And then also when you should expect to have to be present at an event versus simply helping the students with the planning process. Booking spaces on campus is fairly simple to do. For recognized undergraduate student organizations, any member of the group is welcome to uh, reserve the space. So for Alumni Auditorium, Latham Hall, or any place in University Center, you can reserve a space in the University Center Administration Office, which is on the first floor of the University Center, straight back by the stairwell. Students can fill out a form there, or um, faculty and staff members that have access to R25, which is the online reservations program, can also submit reservations on behalf of their student group. After your event has been reserved formally um, and has been confirmed, the advisor will receive an email confirmation of the reservation, not the student group. So we do this to make sure that you're in the loop with what your students are planning and where they're planning to have their events. And that way it's on the advisor and the student group to communicate with each other to make sure everything is confirmed. If you want to reserve a classroom or another space on campus that is not run by the University Center office, then you need to go to the Registrar's office in Lipka Hall. Uh, generally, the assistant registrar will help you by asking for dates or the specific, specific requirements you have for your space, and they'll find a space that's suitable for you and get back to you about a reservation. Advertising. All publicity on campus uh, in print form needs to be approved by the Office of Student Life prior to being posted on any university surface. Based on our experiences, we happen to know a few places where you definitely shouldn't post things, such as on glass surfaces, windows, um, in hallways where there are not bulletin boards. Most of this is for fire safety precaution, um, but also because depending on the department or the building where you're posting, sometimes the people who work in that building have very specific requests about where things should and shouldn't be posted. So before any group has their publicity approved, we make them sign the form, um, and the form pretty much states all the locations on campus that are approved for posting so it's a, basically a list of all the bulletin boards on campus and also uh, the student group that signs it so the student member is responsible for making sure that everyone who hangs that flyer for which they've signed puts it in only approved locations so what happens is if you post in a location that's unapproved um, and the flyer comes down you'll receive an email from either student life or the UC office and they will let you know that you're you have violated the posting policy and if you continue to do so you will lose your posting privileges. Uh, before a major event comes up, student groups tend to advertise via Facebook more often than not these days. So what we've asked them to do is, particularly um, with the social event contract form, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, um, we ask them to print out any Facebook or social media advertising they've done in print so that we can submit it with their contract and so that the office has a copy. We do this for two reasons. One, because sometimes students will bend the rules a little bit when they think we're not looking. So sometimes the Facebook ad might be different than what we approved in the office. Um, the other reason is so that we can really monitor what they're actually sharing with people online because it's really, if you're using the university name, we have the right to know and make sure that we're doing it appropriately. So it's for the student's safety also. Multimedia requests are a little different than they've been in the past. The Office of Multimedia and Classroom Support has a specific set of uh, resources just for student groups. So if they would like to have a movie night, for example, we have a projector screen um, and we also have a DVD projector that's available for student use. Um, multimedia will not deliver resources for undergraduate student events, so students are responsible for making the time to go over to the library in the basement, stopping by after they've reserved the equipment ahead of time, and picking up the equipment and returning it on time so that the next group can use it. They have laptops, they have projectors, projectors, they have projector screens, they have speakers, they have a sound system you can use depending on what kind of event. So it helps if before you have your event, maybe three weeks or so, you take the time to think about what kind of multimedia support you'll need and you can talk with them about what would best suit your needs. Does your group need help planning their event? Well, Student Life offers a number of services, consultations, and anything else they would need to get ready for their event in our office for free to all undergraduate student groups. 
So we can help you with the planning, we can help you with the advertising, we can help you with booking the space, finding a space that's you know, uh, applicable to whatever you'd like to do, what kind of event you're doing. And we can also help you based on the university calendar, find a time or a date that will get you the most people to attend your program. The other thing that'll help you with planning an event is a social event policy contract. So any large scale event, uh, especially or programs that are going to be late in the evening or for more than an hour long, especially if you're ex expecting a large audience, are required to use the social event policy contract, which is housed in the University Center Administration Office.